this, the B- Bernie versus McConnell. That, that's that's been a big thing. That's been uh, that's been happening. Re- uh, it's talk. Of, it's the talk of the town. It's the talk of the town. Bernie Sanders is basically saying that he won't. Uh, he will hold up the defense bill, the NDAA. Um, you know that's going to give seven hundred and forty billion dollars to the war budget. He's going to hold that up unless Mitch McConnell uh, allows a vote to happen on the Senate floor for two thousand uh, dollars stimulus checks to the American people. Right now, the six hundred dollar checks only goes to some people. It's the same thing as a twelve hundred dollar check. It's only eligible for some people. It's not eligible for all people. And uh, Bernie is is basically calling Senator, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, aka the Human Turtle, uh, to to just have a vote. And and what's McConnell do? It McConnell blocks these things all the time. He just blocks votes. That's what he does. It's primarily what he does. He doesn't he doesn't legislate or anything. He just blocks votes. He blocks he blocks important pieces of legislation from coming. He is he is the ultimate. He is the human embodiment of apathy. And you can tell because his skin is so apathetic to just stay on his own body. That's how apathetic he is. Now, everybody's praising Bernie. And and by the way, this is the Bernie Sanders I would have fucking loved to see uh you know in 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 the Democratic primaries. I would have I would have very much loved to see this Bernie in the Democratic primaries. It would have been the best. Uh but it was not it was not the Bernie we got to see in the Democratic primaries. It was uh he was very Oh, I'm going to I'm going to be the good boy and I'm going to you know play nice with uh with all of the Democrats that are effectively trying to fuck me over. And I know they're trying to fuck me over. But I'm going to be nice to them anyway. Now, here's the thing. All the people that are praising Bernie Sanders for saying that there needs to be a vote on the $2,000 and we're going to hold up Congress till we get a vote on this should also be praising Jimmy Dore and Nick Brana and Cornell West and Lee Camp and anybody that has been for the forced to vote campaign anybody that's been pushing the forced to vote campaign should be getting this kind of praise. If you're not, then you're a fucking hypocrite. You're the tone police. And you don't actually give a shit about these issues. What you care about is celebrity status. Oh, look, I don't... I, I'm not someone that's like, oh, I fucking hate Bernie Sand. No, I, I, I like Bernie. I, do, do I wish that Bernie would have been better in the debates and do I wish that Bernie would have been a little bit harder on fucking Joe Biden apps a motherfucking tootly I think Bernie kneecapped himself uh, he was absent on a very important vote about the Patriot Act earlier this year you know I he has, he has disappointed me on various different levels and I think, I think if anything we've learned from the last four years is nobody belongs on that level of a pedestal. Uh, we, we shouldn't be worshiping heroes. We should accept our heroes. We should, and, you know, we should amplify our heroes. But we should also hold our heroes' feet to the fire when we need to. Calling them out on, the, on, on, on bullshit. So, you know, there you have it. There, that, that, that's why I think this is a good thing that Bernie is doing, but I also think that it's no different than what Jimmy Dore is doing 
Uh, the only difference is Jimmy Dore is a drag off comedian, self proclaimed drag off comedian, and Bernie Sanders is a prominent senator. Uh, who and, and now it's like, great, the Democratic Party should be fucking behind him. Every single Democrat, I, 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 every single Democrat should be on Bernie's side, pressuring Mitch McConnell. But Nancy Pelosi is not. She won't. You won't see her do that. You won't see a lot of Senate Democrats do that. And they might be. At the, at the time of this recording, I don't, I don't know of any information about uh, Senate Democrats that are coming out in, in um, favor of what Bernie is doing. If I'm wrong, leave a comment. But this is no different than what Jimmy Dore is doing, and everybody should be on the side of both Bernie and Jimmy at the same time. Now, here's the thing, right? Mitch McConnell is probably going to hold up this vote, uh, and will somehow or another that defense bill is going to pass because it's about war, right? Um, the the fallacy in in this is very similar to Alaska having UBI, even though UBI has been proven to be successful in the state of Alaska. It's it's connected to the fossil fuel industry. Um, so this is sort of the same thing is because now we're connecting what Bernie is doing with expanding the military budget, expanding this war budget we have. Uh, that's the downside of it. Of course, Bernie is using the knowledge that the war budgets need to pass. Uh, it, it, you know, it's important in, in a country that is primarily built on war that it will pass, that it needs to pass. Uh, and he's and he's hoping for that. He's hoping for that sort of stuff. I don't know if McConnell's going to agree that two thousand dollars is enough. But now here's somebody that can make it work. What about Joe Biden? Now, Joe's big claim is that he reaches across the aisle. He's an aisle reacher, if you will, right? He's always, he's he's on the Senate floor, just go, it's just, oh, there's an aisle, I'm reaching, I'm reaching across it. That's Joe's big, look at his record, he's reached across the aisle for racism. Will he reach across the aisle to get $2,000 for the American people? Being that he is the great reacher of all aisles. And where is the pressure on Joe Biden to fucking do that? You won't see any. Because that is a failing of Democratic Party voters. They will not hold their... I mean, it's a failing of anybody, and even Republicans too. You know, Republicans don't hold... Their, their guys' to, feet to the fire either. But Democrats should right now. I mean, the dude promised healing, and uh, what's a better way to heal than financially stabilizing the country by ensuring that the working class isn't going to be all homeless? And then homelessness becomes illegal, and then the prison population skyrockets. Like, what is... Is, didn't Joe Biden say that he was going to be the uh, y- uniter? Well, here you go. Unite. Get the Senate Majority Leader to unite. The fear that Mitch McConnell has is that if we put it up to a vote, there is a very good chance that re- enough Republicans will see that the American people are suffering and they need help. And if they don't get help, they're not getting reelected. And there goes their, their, their fucking careers. In the cushiest job of all time. Now Joe Biden has the ability to do that, but he won't. And I'll tell you why. It's because if two thousand dollars is the is the one time payment, he has come out and, and made a statement in, in some fucking press briefing or whatever that uh more stimulus is on the way. So this is sort of a down payment for the American people and and more stimuluses are on the way. So let's say $2,000 gets passed for every American and it comes down to after inauguration, the first 100 days, he's going to try to get the American 
uh, working class out of the destitution that they're in, well, what's he going to do? Give us $600? Give us $1,200? Why would you give us less this time than before? The precedent has to be set. That's why $600 was voted on. Because because the precedent has to be that... Um, that they're not going to actually help you financially. That they're going to give you pittance and the breadcrumbs and that needs to be enough. And if it's not enough, it's a bad thing. You have people like fucking Larry Summers who caused the 08 collapse coming out and saying that $2,000 to the American people is going to overheat the economy, e- economy and collapse it. Bru- the economy is already collapsed. People don't have jobs. There's a lot of jobs that people can't do anymore. And the industries that can hire them are are no longer uh, they're, they're running out of vacancies, bro. So you need to figure out how to fucking help people. Larry Summers was under the Obama administration. He was a Biden guy. Joe Biden doesn't want to come out and say, "Fine, I will sign a bill that will give everybody $1,000 a month or $2,000 a month or whatever. And that's how we're going to, you know, help the economy come back to where it was. He doesn't want to do that. Because he's not a socialist. He beat the socialist. He made up. And the Republicans, well, they just don't give a shit, period. And the fear that McConnell has, because McConnell's biggest goal is just to win. And how do you win is that you just make sure that bills like this don't go out onto the floor to be voted on with the possibility of loss. And mark my words, the great aisle reacher that Joe Biden is, he will not reach across the aisle to make that work, which means that he's not really helping people like he said he was going to. Like all the fucking progressives and all all the fucking YouTube commenters and the comedians that pointed out oh, how shitty fucking Joe Biden really is and why we shouldn't be excited about it. And all those people that came out and were like, oh, you're a Trump supporter. Oh, you're, you're terrible. Oh, you just don't get it. All the people that ignored... All the shit that Joe Biden stands for, all the corporatism, is all coming to the light sooner and sooner. If Joe wants to prove us wrong, here's your opportunity, buddy. Get that $2,000. Reach across that aisle. Get us that 2 k My guess is he won't. And the American people will be left to suffer again. Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. My content is highly suppressed because this is not topics of conversation that uh, that the corporate mainstream media really wants to, to, to address here. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, sign up for my email list. Uh, that way you'll get weekly uh, uh, emails with all of the podcasts and all of the videos that I put out there. Um, and make sure you go to my website and follow me there, uh, krishmohanhaha.com. That's going to be your one-stop shop for all things Krish Mohan. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. See you in the next video.